Hi everyone. Um, I am working on a new page for the Art Journal Prompts uh, Challenge. And this is week four and the prompt is Life Is. I'm working on a piece of watercolor paper which I have gessoed. And the first thing I do is using a few homemade acrylic spray paints uh, in different shades of green and also a an kind of aqua minty uh, color to uh, spray on the left side of my page, watering it down and make it drip and run a bit. I was uh, concentrating with the color on the left side of the page and now I'm using a tissue paper, just a, a blank uh, tissue paper, a transparent uh, to glue down on the right side of the page, uh, making sure it has uh, wrinkles and folds uh, for some texture. I'm gluing it down with uh, a Mod Podge and um, well, the excess of the tissue paper I'm tearing off and uh, putting it back on in the middle so I have even more texture and wrinkles um, of the tissue paper. Uh, once that is dry, I am concentrating on the middle of the page because I uh, have a quote in mind that says, life is leven. And leven is the Dutch word for uh, life or living or to live, uh, really. So. Um, the center of my page needs to be uh, uh, kind of a, a burst of life, a burst of color, a burst of splatters. Um, and I uh, first used uh, a crayon, a neo color crayon, um, to make some sp white splatters in the middle. And then I used the stamps by Indigo Blue and a magenta archival ink. Um, this was a bit disappointing because the color wasn't as bright as I hoped uh, it was. Uh, but the, the stamping, the splatter uh, stamp uh, is great and exactly what I want. So um, I'm adding a bit more color uh, just now with some uh, more neo colors. And that is a magenta kind of pink color and I'm using the technique I learned from Mike, Mike Deacon um, just using a wet brush and you uh, tick against the crayon and that will uh, give you a very nice splatter which is very controllable as well so I like to do this technique um, a lot. Um, next step is to add the words life is, and this is a stencil. I got a happy mail from Sunny, and I'm using an acrylic uh, paint for that. And uh, the white, um, it was the color I wanted for this page, um, but it isn't very outstanding. You can hardly read the letters, the words. Um, but I decided to go on with it anyway, and try to make the letters more stand out in a later stage of the uh, page. Uh, here I am coloring those letters with a Faber-Castell uh, artist pit pen, a white to uh, try and make them uh, stand out more. And then these butterflies come in and these are three butterflies, some die cuts. I got also in Happy Mail from Sunny and they had a, a lovely pattern that I thought would fit this page perfectly. And that is some pink uh, flowery, flower flourish uh, pattern and green. And um, I using the archival ink to uh, ink the edges of those butterflies to make them stand out just a bit more. And also, um, this is the coffee, I believe, to uh, uh, color the middle uh, of the butterfly, really. 
And this is the word leven I cut out from a magazine. Uh, this was um, really fuzzy cutting, uh, but it worked. And I'm gluing it down with the Mod Podge. And as I said, leven is the Dutch word for a uh, life or to live or living. So my quote for this page is really life is uh, living really or life is to live or life is life um, using my black faber castell pen to outline the word leven and making some marks as well and because i used black um, for the word i uh, also add some black splattering and to make uh, life is stand out more I'm using a black charcoal pencil and a water brush to try and um, make some shadow around the letters because of the white acrylic paints you it ha they hardly show and you uh, wouldn't know it's there unless I try and do something about it I thought about using black paint to write the word life is or maybe the magenta color or a green color I didn't think um, that would look very nice at least it wasn't what I was looking for so I decided on the white and with the shadowing um, it kind of worked so I'm quite happy how uh, it turned out now I'm sticking down the butterflies and I'm using a, a 3D score tape for that. Just putting a few dots of the paper uh, of the tape uh, underneath the butterfly to give it some dimension to make it kind of uh, a 3D uh, like the butterflies are flying on the page. Uh, of course some stamping this is my Heidi swap stamp just a few little accents uh, on my page with a black uh, stays on ink and nothing more and then I use a distress uh, ink to color the edges of my page to make kind of a border And then it's uh, adding my date and my signature and this page is done. Uh, my entry for the Art Journal Prompts Challenge for week four live is. Make sure to check out the description box below because I will put up the link to the Facebook group. So if you like to join in, please do. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video and uh, see you again very soon. Bye-bye.